All right, here we are with a combo tutorial. It's going to be a lot different from my last one that we did. You know, same season. It's, it's still Chaos Crusade, as I call it. Just with some new added cards. I took a few cards out. I think the consistency got boosted a whole lot, especially with the new ban list. Even though we didn't really run any of those cards. Actually, didn't run any of them at all. It just really helped our consistency because the other decks got, got nerfed while we just stayed the same, basically. So today, as usual, I'm going to sh shuffle up, give you a test hand, and then we will get into the deck profile at the very end of the video. And thank you again for all, all the support in my last video. Thank you. Over 300 views, it's really... It's really wild, like I really didn't expect it. So let's draw our first five, and we're gonna pretend like we're going unhindered with no hand, by no hand traps. All right. Okay, we got full combo, pretty much. All we would need to do is just make sure we're drawing one other card. So start with your Maximus. You can link that off. Magius, Specimen Leonis, Magius Effect, and Magic Draco. Link these two cards off into your Spatha, which really needs a rarity upgrade in the next OTS pack. Probably a super rare, at least an ultimate. Maybe if we top, guys, help us out. We can get that. We can get that top. Crusade Draco, activate Draco's effect. Add back your Maximus. Link off your Draco into your LP. Spat this back into LP or LP's effect since so two or more point. Search out your red eyes. Rise back, add back to Draco. Like these four guys off. Ugh. Into your Sayuja Skull Dread. Sayuja effect draw four. One, two, three, and four. Let's see. We'll put back the Goliath. We'll put back the Reclusia. And we will put back the Maximus. Now you activate Thunder Dragon's effect. Discard that, add your other two copies of it. You start, you just flex by some Thunder Dragon way to very, what's that, leftmost portion. And now summon out your Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. Banish, you could, you really don't want to banish your Thunder Dragon. Make sure you don't do that. Banish your Spatha. Bring this out, link this off into Pitsy. Black dragon, add your white dragon. Where are you at, white dragon? Sorry if I'm really going fast. I don't really think I am, but if just if I am, sorry about that. Add your Pitsy's effect. Bring back red eyes. Red eyes effect, bring back Draco. As usual, you link these two guys off. To your Argopane. Argopane's effect, bring out Crystal Wing. You summon up to your white dragon since you can always summon dragons right now. You can banish your black dragon or red eyes, whichever one you want. You link these four, four off for Star Agent number two. Oh, there you are. Now you activate Star Agent Chain Link 1, White Dragon Chain Link 2. You add the other black dragon first, and then you draw your three. Or your four, actually, sorry. So one, two, three, and four. Since you only use one of these per turn, put that back. You really don't need your Thunder Dragon, another Thunder Dragon at this point, so you can put that back, and you can put back the white, the black dragon, sorry. Put those back at the very bottom of the deck. Now this is our hand right now. Now since you pretty much did the full combo, and now all this is just extension, and then we can have to fit our Sekka's Light. This is our great, by the way. Sorry, it was off to the side. You can draw your two cards. One, two. You can have to fit the second effect to banish it. Uh, you could really reveal. It doesn't really make a difference what you reveal. I would just say reveal. Hell, well, you don't need two Star in your hand. Reveal that. The point probably won't even know what that really is, even though you do that, you shuffle. Get your opponent to cut. Now you draw. Oh look, we got Genzo. Remember, we still haven't used Sergeant number two special summon effect. So if you really wanted to, it could be Genzo or Archer Christia right about now. 
Now we can start off with Cash Dragon Levy in there. Now I like to personally, I like to always get rid of the darks. Just to take that one card out of your opponent's hand. That's personally what I like to do. You can contribute your Thunder Dragon for Colossus. And we want some of the Cash Dragon Levy in over here, just so we can keep these spots open. If you drew into any like Crusader, you can still bust them like Reclusia and Arboria or Maximus or Boria, basically get get it to your level sevens, level eights, depending on whatever you open with. Okay. And from here on, uh, since we have no tuners, we have no synchro options. The safest the safest option to do would be specimen in this due to its effect. And then if you know you're going against a deck that isn't altar guys, you use each effect specimen arch to you. So basically you have a monster negate, they're playing one less cards. Can't special summon. If they do, someone will manage to out the special summon, and then they special summon monster X to contribute that to negate the effect. They can't add from NSR Ravis. Basically negates any targeting. Word Child's Guard Dragon negates any of your linked monsters. Basically any of these three that are linked to your Saruja from targeted. Recludes your next turn if they use, if they out your board. Basically record if they floodgate you. And then Jinzo just if if you know you're going against Alter guys. And that's it for the combo video. Now let's get into the deck profile part. Okay, here we are with the deck profile. Oh, the Crusading line, lineup is still the same as last time. You got your three Maximus, you got your three Arboreus, you got your two Reclusia, your three Draco, and two Leonis. That's it, because it's a 40 card deck you will really open with either a way to get another monster on the board to search off the Magius, because you always usually open with at least one Crusadia. At least one line testing, so I believe that's line is right. You don't have to really max on all of them. To have like a 17 card. You see a lineup including this, the one of the world, world crown. Now into your Thunder Dragon engine. We have the three just plain OG. Oh, let me lose. Sorry about having the wheel there. You got your three OG Thunder Dragons. You got your one Thunder Dragon Hulk. That just helps you bring out your classes a lot easier. It's pretty standard. You got your three black dragons and your one white dragon. You got the red eyes, got the cast dragon, got your mortgage glyph, got your envoy of the end, got your distrito, got your one drago. The drago is just in the main deck just because in my locals there's a lot of orcas running around, a lot of bringing this people because the new because the new dark neo storm with cherubini. So that can be any other dragon or just another crusader if you want to just run run it like that. Now here we get into some newer cards that usually you don't really see in a lot of typical builds. You have your two World Child Cigar Dragons, which because we run Sekka's Light, which is basically our pseudo call by the Graves, because any linked monster, which mostly you don't really get hand trapped until you get to the part, what is it, back to the right here, and then you get LP, then LP to move over. You usually get Flat Bill right there, and if you have this in your hand, you negate it, you can negate, destroy it. It's not a hard once per it's not even a once per turn for the disc discard effect. Only for its other effect when you're using the normal monster, which you don't really run it for that effect. So two is fine. And basically this is three more of them. This does this just doesn't destroy, but any targeting card that targets any of your monsters, no matter what, as long as it targets monster, Ash Blossom doesn't target. So Ash Blossom and Droll really hurt the deck, but it's like if you don't draw a call out of grave, you usually still gonna get shut down. So that's why I opted to run this. This basically are called by the grave. So it's basically like running five of them. Against effect veil or impermanence, which really hurts other than Ash Blossom. But with these five, it stops all that. Only only Ash Blossom could hurt you at that point. Which unless you're going against Solomon Great, you're really not going into it as much as you would think. So those are what makes this deck possible. That's like how you're able to play with alcohol degrees. And then you hear your sorry, you just special summons depending on your matchup. And then this just ended up striker. These are your basic two targets, along with Drago, could also be another target. Because you know, Alter Geist, any trap heavy decks, or Solomon Great with the Roar of the Rage. You spell some of that off, you know you're going to get stone. You're going to get Starker Light. If not, you know you always slide that out. And our Slipper Stia just shuts down everything going first. If you just spell some of this out, that's how you just, opponent can't do nothing. Yeah, for Gamma Seal, 
we run two effect bailers just in case we're forced to go second just to hurt the opponent if we can just because this really hits the most amount of monster effects since we're in a real combo heavy meta i mean with the new dark nail storm also guys is probably gonna come back out and probably top something and then you'd probably want to be able to run like probably hand trap sisters but for right now this is this is pretty good or this could honestly be two more kaijus I opted to take the out of the main, except for Gamma Steel. If you draw into it for Strikers, then you know you pretty much want to win that. You just OTK them with the regular Crusade OTK. And what makes the deck so fun? You got three, these three. Three Sex Light. And that's the deck profile right there. Man. Hey, if you still want to watch, I'm going to do another test hand. I just shuffle this up. Okay, we're back. You just had a power shuffle this thing a few times. Da, 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 da. Cut. There you go. Let's draw our first five cards. Okay. So with this hand, it's pretty much going to be a break depending on how the sex light lets us draw. So I had to figure out Thunder Dragon. Let's hope we don't get bricked. We had a good video, so thanks again, guys, for getting to 300 views in my last video. I really didn't expect that to happen. It really gave me motivation to really make this and keep innovating this deck. You guys might think it's getting less consistent. I like it better this week. It's a lot more fun. So I don't like to stick to the norm. That's why I threw the Thunder Dragon in there. I know some people are moving to the Azathoth build. It's like, yeah, it's a nice build. It's fun. I mean, it's not really as fun as this, but it's consistent, I should say. It's like asking me if I'd rather play, I'd rather play this. Okay, so we added our two Thunder Dragons. Oh crap, right there. And then we activate our second light, which would probably be Ash Food when we would probably cry. And then we'd have to return sign. So we draw one, two. Oh, we got the combo. And still, since we have a lot of bricks in our hand, I would still just. Spin this back, vanish it with second light. Same because you're always going to discard the Thunder Dragon with the brand right back. That's just to get us one more chance against. Not really what we want to do. But it's fine. Let's play this out. Summon your Draco. Link it off. Now you need to spell some of this, but you might want to save that. So some of your Reclusia. Man, guess back. Add another Draco to your hand. Mm -mm -mm. No, cards are still next to each other. That's probably why I would open so bad. Oh, that's fine. Add Draco to hand. Link these two off. This is back though. Some Draco, add back your Reclusia, link off your Draco. Help me, it's about if I can pop you over. Oh, yeah, we got an enhance. This is what we would do. You just special on any dragon from your deck, just the much your deck. I wouldn't normally actually keep this in there just because if you draw into it, it's a hand trap defeater or anti hand trap. So I'll just send out another Draco from the deck. And everyone's gonna be like, what the hell is he doing? Like, that's not the combo. Because we have the red eyes in our hand. So then you would just banish this for red eyes summoning condition, which a lot of people really forget about. And especially with red eyes from your hand. You have to take this, bring it back, and then you go to the same thing. It's just this way you, you just have one one less card in hand. Which when you do Thunder Dragon really offsets that. So it's not really like you're going really negative, honestly, because you still got five cards in hand, one card right here, and you're about to go plus one again, so you draw your four. Now I'll simply like to set this light. Hmm, let's see. 
I'll put back one Sarebus and then one Reclusia. Since you can't use Reclusia again. Raymond Pondum. I'm not sure. Black Dragon. Banish your Agius. I like that off. Let's see. Black Dragon, activate. Add White Dragon. Let's use effect. Add Red Eyes. Red Eyes, add Draco. Sorry if this is getting a little bit cluttered. Oh, crap. Was that right here? Yeah, that was right here. Yeah, graveyard right there. Argue Pain. Argue Pain's effect. Crystal one. Then zoom it out. Then it's your Black Dragon. One four again. So you get number two. White Dragon, add your Black Dragon back. So you get now draw four. Chip on cut. One, two, three, and four. Put that gamma seal. You don't need that going first, but going for you. And then I would say put back the black dragon. Now this right here, this is a pretty fun hand. Just depending on how you want to play it out. Honestly, you should have already spent some of this, but I honestly forgot. Because when you summon up the first surgery before you go into the guards are complete, you should have spent some of this out. So then you already had the Colossus. Since I messed up, we're going to assume we're just going to But then again, I don't have any other monsters for summon, so we'll just use it now. I was going to assume like a high, like I misplayed anyway, so just be wary of that Thunder Dragon Colossus. You know, make sure you're activating your effect to make these gain 300 attack and defense. And then you can spell some of these two since you never spell some of either of those this turn. Link off both of those. Go into your FA Dawn Dragster. There's a few different things you can do. You can spell some of the Cast Dragon Levi Levi in here. You know. Da 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 da. Depends on how you how we want to go about it. This is obviously a good play. But if you want to do something a little differently, you could do something like this. Bring this back to your hand, put this back in the extra deck. This just to show you. Just because we're a little savage is cool. But it's like it's it's better. It's honestly a better, a better option to do. So bring these back to your hand. You can just bust them a little high in there. Sorry for taking these back. I don't really like doing that, but banish three lights. One, two, and three. I try to keep Dungeon Dragons in there just to make sure the class is protected. Then you use this effect to bring back any monster in the first position. And make another Thunder Dragon. Oh, you want to bring it back over here. Then you can spell some Euroboria. Then link off those two. And then you want the War Code Savage, or if you want at the time, Scarlet. Red with Savage effect. So you can jam. You can spell some in this, so light and dark. You want down with these two. If you run if you run the zombie stein, you could overlay those two for zombie stein just for another negate. And then this will be your hand. Which is, which is still pretty good. I don't have a zombie stun, so I can't do that. That was just to show you that option. Or this could be another Le Leviathan air. You know, you won't be able to get the, sec of the effect twice, but just to show you. I like this just to make sure I try to keep as many Thunder Dragons, even though I ended up still with no Thunder Dragons in my graveyard. So Colossus isn't protected. So honestly, I probably wouldn't have done this play. I would have. Oh, yeah, actually, no, I spent some of that there.
But honestly, that's just to show you that you can run out more negates with this. Sorry about the mess ups, but if you run the zombie spawn, which I would run it if I had it, and it's overlay those two, and then this is still your exit out. Because this could honestly be in your side for time. So this could really be your zombie stein, or this could be your zombie stein. Because I just run super poly targets, so I don't have to put them all on my side and put off the side. Oh yeah, let me show you guys my side. I haven't showed you all that at all. Okay, here you go. I'll show you my side. We have the one the violent chimera. We have the second copy of Draco. Just run those matches. One you can just summon this. Because you have the two copies, or you can spell summon it. Just make sure you keep the other dragon in your hand just to reveal before it gets destroyed. Just for your orcas and your thunder danger matchup, thunder dra thunder guard dragon danger. Got just two super polys. Sorry, I'm bringing this stuff down here again. Then you have your pack room. You have your graveyard hate. No Kagari search coming. I mean not Advax, no Solomon Grid, anything. Get all that out of here. You got your three clean twisters, which is pretty standard. You have your macro cosmos and your imperial order. Again, Sky Striker Hate, Silent Great Hate, Sky Striker Hate. Make sure they have no spells, I think they have added effects. Make sure all their monsters get banished. It really hurts everything. And this, if you do full combo and just set that, you win. And then you got your three rubber boots for Alter Geist or any other trap heavy decks. No evenly matched none of that's happening over here. Show you that again. You got three rubber boots, these two. These three, these three, these two, and these two. Hope you guys enjoyed my deck profile, my side deck, my test hands, because honestly, I appreciate all the support in the last video. I really, I really appreciate it. And if you like this deck, play it. It's a lot more consistent than you would think. It's a lot more fun than you would think. It's not a helmet. Since it's combos, I really like combo decks. This helmet decks like all the guys, Draco, you just do the same thing over and over and over. This there's not too many lines of play, like, but there's options. Like you would see the Genzo, the R Stor there's other boss monsters that you could side on. Or the Thunder Dragon engine that could be a dinosaur engine if you like super ultimate conductor. I'll, I'll put that in the description of my last video or any other boss monsters. Shadows are okay. They kind of make it a little bit more bricky since you need to have the monsters in the main deck. I mean just like but then it's like the monsters really don't place themselves unless you send them. But just with that way, then you know you can't run the second light build. That's why I like the Thunder Dragon engine the best, because you don't have to run any of the spells except for sex light. It's like because once you start running Pot of Greed 2.0, you kinda like kinda like live by it. Now since we've been shuffling, let's just show you one more test hand. We're not gonna do a full count just to show you. Let's see if we open right. And that's full combo. As long as you would open up with one more. And one more baby dragon or one. And that give you two searches and so you're just giving you four drills. Top two. Or that one have been there. Because that would have added that. And then four more draws. Yep, you even got into it. And then with the vanish, so this shit this deck is madly consistent. It's a lot of fun. It's a really different. If you want to surprise people, you want to do something different, you want to play something different. I'm gonna play something a lot more fun. You wanna stir your prepared boss monsters in a, in a good deck. You wanna get out your gens, out your trade binders and everything? Hell, play this. It's fun. Thank you again for watching. Sorry for really long and making up all winded just talking, but really have a lot of fun making this. Thank you.